Stand by a ticket, please. Head straight through those double doors. As you well know, Aldridge T. Abington. My prosperous career as the greatest that? showman on earth is well known from Russia to France and especially London, where I receive very warm acknowledgments and once entertained the great queen herself in a manner I cannot discuss further. <laughs> yes, you are about to witness the grandest of shows. Up next, a goddess of fire. Her dance will mesmerize you and drive a sharp bargain for your soul. <laughs> Antoinette Sanservino. Yeah, Give she's something, more. isn't she? You know, I once tried to woo her, but she managed easily to elude my efforts by setting my top coat aflame. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I met this next remarkable lady on a steamer bound for Morocco, where they have the queerest and most delightful tobaccos one should ever partake in. She is unrivaled with a sword, and her dance will captivate you. Let's the see mysterious it. Maya.
Yep, yeah! Lovely! Yeah! Isn't she it. lovely? The thighs of an angel. The charms of the devil. <laughs> this next act has delighted audiences around the world. He is the greatest magician alive, especially as many have died attempting feats of escape. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. This is so. Thank you, Madame and Monsieur. Thank you all. I am the great Benjamin Lazarus, cheater of death, revealer of truth, and without a doubt, the world's finest escape artist. Death, madness. It is all around us. A beautiful wife of 14 years old suddenly dies of colic and pleurisy. A wealthy man goes mad and hacks his family to bits. Oh Why? The mind is weak, and yet it imprisons us all. Tonics and liquors keep the spirit buoyant as we all suffer all kinds of maladies in this life. These days, you are just as likely to die a man of 12 years old as you are a man of 42 or more. Now, you can easily oh, ascertain a simple observation that those who live to an highly seasoned food and champagne are not invigorating influences. They are excesses that promote premature decay. A decay that begins first in here, in the mind. You may have heard that in the mental wards of asylums, they keep the most violent and insane patients in a straight jacket. A piece of clothing used to restrain them so they don't injure themselves or others. It was invented in France 110 years ago. We about to and tonight, a you may be me as suffering from some lunacy as I am going to undress and my assistant will put me inside this straight jacket. Now, Jesus. Yes. Very good. 